Thank you, Danny. Well, there's no question our infrastructure is crumbling. Anyone that makes a trip down Route 61 from Frackville to Pottsville knows exactly what I'm talking about. These, uh, the roads are uh, really tough. Uh, they don't seem to be able to keep them up to date. It's interesting, someone asked me today, uh, how comes we're building a new road like uh, the corridor that comes off of uh, Route uh, US 15 North coming up across to, coming into Winfield, uh, why are we building that when we can't maintain our current roads? Kind of an interesting discussion. Uh, there's certainly uh, no question that as a farmer, I understand how important infrastructure is. I mean, it started way back in day one when farmers were getting their products to market. Uh, it's critical to have good roads, bridges, uh, where you don't have to go 25 miles out of your way uh, to go uh, avoid a bridge that uh, doesn't have the right uh, weight uh, limit uh, on it for your trucks. Uh, and the ports where we export them, it all fits together. It's about our economy. It is a huge part about how we export products and how our economy operates here. So we need to address it. We need to deal with it. We need to invest in it. It's also good for the economy. Every $1 billion you invest in infrastructure, it generates about $1.4 billion in economic returns. I want to talk about something a little bit different than roads and bridges, which gets most of the uh, discussion on infrastructure. It's called broadband. Broadband is a real problem in the 9th Congressional District. Uh, there's areas that does not have cell service. There are many people that do not have broadband access. And I know, for example, this year there was dollars that were made available from the FCC that would come into Pennsylvania. It would have, should have been utilized by Verizon. They took a pass on it, so the money was not used. So broadband was not expanded as it should have been because of the federal funds that were available that were not utilized. I think one of the things that we need to do is look at how private companies may be able to access those dollars, uh, maybe uh, grants for specific individuals, businesses, schools, hospitals that need to run a, a broadband line uh, from the nearest point to their facility. We need to be creative and think about that. But it's a real problem and it doesn't appear like Verizon is going to help us solve the problem here in Pennsylvania. Uh, broadband is the number one issue I have in terms of infrastructure. Thank you for watching. Please be sure to go to madhouseandproductions.com forward slash TV to see even more great local programming and get your DVD and USB copies of this broadcast and more. From all of us here at MHP, remember to get out and vote this November. <laughs>